Hello and welcome back to House of Wine 4 with the Kaiserreich Brazil. We are, you know, trying to expand on the ULF. We are moving into Scandinavia here. Um, we're going to make our first moves into the central bits of Asia. Um, now, I want Middle Europa actually to die off soon-ish, to be honest. This is more to do with the fact that uh, I want the Qing Empire to be under my rule. Um so that I can just forge one big queen empire because they hold quite a lot of land as you know regard they regard it as their own but even believe yeah even these, so this entire region here could become one nation so I need middle Europa to die off at some point who's still you know in this war like the queen empire is the one that they need to kill oh they are there. Combined Syndicate of America. This might actually flip this towards something unusable, though. Well, it's gotta be a big ass war. We are officially out of manpower, though, because I've been eh, kind of been increasing some manpower requirements, sadly enough. Kind of sucks, really. How much manpower do I still need? Let's see, I need not that much, but we're also not gaining that much. I'm still, I can still do, you know, um, service by requirement if necessary, which would give us a large chunk of. So I'm not that worried, really. I'm not that worried. If I would lower my air force in, you know, total uh, numbers, then we should be fine. All right, so Scandinavia. All right, and go and go. guys entering wars there we go I love it the immediate naval invasions that always just kind of bugs the living hell out of me I was like wait how did I do that did we just get nukes did they just nuke me did they literally just nuke Vasa you bastards you fucking bastards! Jesus! Oh god, that's not my land, but yeah, they just did nuke. Okay then, Sweden! I think that was Sweden. Probably was Sweden. That's a bit... Sorry, just take control there, I shouldn't do that. That's a bit excessive, don't you think? Like, really? You you had to nuke me? Like, a nuclear fucking strike? That's just... Okay, damn, you know. The more you know, Sweden really doesn't like Finland. Because apparently they thought it was necessary to nuke them. Over a very small territorial dispute. I think... You should be part of my uh, land, so yeah. That's all. There's nothing, you know, spectacular to it. It's just a uh, a minor misunderstanding that I'm trying to resolve here. Very minor, very minor, of course. I wouldn't dare to uh, impose myself upon others. Can I change my manpower a lot? Nope. I want to go to serves by requirement by now. So the first thing I do when we go to war with France. Um, problem is, is that I'm still using most of my own forces to um, waste these wars, and we are on a bit of a limiting factor here, so... Uh, kind of sucks within that regard. I don't want you guys fighting this bit. Let's, did I just make a new front line? I, th I thought I... 
Wait, why can I... Or is the game just being a bit on delay here? Anyway, that will work itself out. Don't need to pay much attention to that. Um, I could just do a little bit of work here. Just, you know, go here. That's too much, actually. Go there. No. That doesn't work. There's actually no airfield nearby. There we go. And just fly over the north there. I get these two guys to fly over the uh, a bit there. And then we've got you guys that can fly over the bit there. Oh, one of them can't reach it. Shit. Um, I just keep flying over the Ukraine. I don't care. Alright, get some uh, tactical support. Very good. Alright, well that rules off itself. Oh, we're getting manpower and losing manpower. Gaining manpower and losing manpower. How much am I getting a month? Let's see... 3.2k. Recruit, well that's not too bad actually. That is bad. They are taking everything, aren't they? Wait, what? Is that war officially over now? Let's see, current wars. Brazilian. Yeah, that war is officially over. Now, let me guess. No, you're still part of Middle Europa. Oh, you didn't flip. We can. If we want. We can rage more against Middle Europa. Not that I really want to, but we're no longer bordering the French. I am surprised it didn't take more. Okay, so the combined syndicates of America is just fine against Mexico. Yeah, good luck, buddy. I highly doubt that you should do it, though. Mexico is getting... Finally getting some manpower up and running. United States here. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. No, oh, really. If we just... Uh... All right, now the big question is, is it just the combined states off? Might not be. That is, this officially means that uh, I have a new front line that needs to be set up, like right there. You can leave that one. All right, that is uh, not a good thing, though. However, this might enable us to free up some land here. Right, I need to take care of that as quickly as I can. You guys set up here as well. I wouldn't be surprised if France and, yep, Britain is in there. Alright. So France is the one that's not really into, there we go, France is in. This might actually be, uh, far more disastrous than you might think. Um, like, they have immediately managed to get some forces up and running there. On the other hand, we have like a million puppets and all that kind of stuff, so it might not be as bad as we think. Um, I need, however, to finish these wars quite quickly, so I'm going to put a rush command on Stockholm. Um, I do have like a million forces that are going 
through not the best of waters towards... Yeah. No, that's not the good way. They are going through the Pacific... Or they're through the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. I no longer have control over that. That's far too late for me to realization that they went that way. Right, so, United States, you're not sending me... What am I lacking here? Needing oil. Um, no possible trade route. Right, okay, we'll trade with Mexico then. Fix that little issue. All right. Um, right. This, however, will allow me to do resource per requirement. There we go, 2.7 million people. You, go. All, go. There. And when you're there, can I just immediately just say... Uh, yep, you can. Right, that's set up. Well... Do I still have my... Hey, you know what? That'll teach them. That'll teach them. Well, Paris has just been nuked. And they deserve it. They do deserve it. Um, I am gonna switch my entire air force around. Alright, I need you two to immediately get on that one. And there's some necessity here of switching planes. No, there are a lot of airfield here. Let's start with that. Let's transfer them all, and then I will retransfer them um, to the necessary airfields. There isn't really much pushing going on just yet. All right, Finland just capitulated. I don't know how we did that, but sure. Oh, wow. Some Swedish forces, like a couple of... Wait, who's controlling this right now? You know, Britain. What the hell? The Kingdom of Sweden just took control over everything by one landing. That is just a bit weird, to be honest. I don't know what happened there. We still have a harbor, so we should be good, but. This is a bit strange. Finns are getting some support from, uh, I mean, the Swedes. Places they should get support from, I guess. So surprised they haven't joined yet. Uh, with, um, ah, well, my allies will fix that issue. The most important bit is right here. All right, so we have a very overcrowded airfield. I want you to all fly over some of the southwest, and I want some central USA. And some west coast. Now, rebase. Strategical bombers will fly. Probably just keep them over here. That might not be a bad idea. Um, Moscow. Okay. Shouldn't be bombing cities, by the way. And... Rebase. Alright, so... Let's just check in a minute. How that's going. Still transferring, still transferring. Um, you'll be flying over um, Southern England. Actually, you know what? Let's just bomb some of the East Coast, because that's some high value. 
uh, land. Alright, yeah, east coast, just start bombing cities. Let's see, it's still got 4,000 aircraft. Um, there's 200 there, 800, 1,400, so a few bit back, and uh, that's just, there we go. Oh crap, you still have slightly bit too much. None of you. Okay, so you're all good, you're all good. You're all good. And you're all good. Right, that's good. You're probably losing quite a lot. But I don't know where most of them are, to be honest. Alright, most of them are getting close. But it's also like... Okay, we can see the our enemies just transferring just as many troops. We lost a lot of fucking vessels there. Um, Russia, you're allowed to... Uh, did I call you into these wars? I don't know who you are, but get in there. <laughs> Okay, these tanks are not going to make a difference. Oh, this just looks horrendous, to be honest. Um, Mexico has capitulated. Wait, these guys are... What's going on? Are these guys, like, without any 50% national unity? They all have... Uh, no, why is that, this so low? Fifteen percent, Jesus! Yeah, no wonder some of these guys capitulate like after after one try. This is, however, exactly how we are gonna lose uh, because of stuff like this. Um, uh, how am I gonna do this? I would like to continue this. I do, but uh, I hate the position we're in right now because it's such a crap ball. Like, stuff is capitulating everywhere. My allies are useless. All right, so I think I'm going to do this um, now and just say, okay, I think it's been fun, but the game has been running on for far too long. Um, the puppeting thing, just don't do it. It doesn't work um, that well, especially not when, you know, if you are self-sufficient, sure, make it into a puppet if you, if you need manpower instead of, you know, industry and resources. If you need industry and resources, just take the damn land. Um, it was a fun try, but I think this is just, you know, as far as, it, you know, as it goes. Um, this foster clock here and here is just painful to watch. If you are desperate for me to continue, just let me know, but uh, I might pick it up at some point. But I think we've seen enough for now, and um, yeah, I'm going to call it. So, with that, I want to thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.